Oh, hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you don't know, we have been on a weeks long journey across the country and back and we have thrifted the whole way. And on today's episode, we're going to Waco, Texas. Have you ever been? No. <laughs> okay, well, we went with our friends Ivan and Monique, and uh, you could definitely go check out their side of today's video on their channel. Please go give them a sub, pretty please. We're here in Waco, and today we are joined by... Dun -dun -dun -dun. What's up? Welcome to Waco. He's back. They're back. Hello. But also, there's something really special we're going to Waco for that Hannah just demanded we had to go see. <laughs> so this special thing is going to be on her channel. And stick around. There'll be a little sneak preview of it on this channel. But you're going to have to go sub to her channel and watch that part if you're into that kind of thing. And I hope that you are because you're like, I don't know if you look, you're like this close to 1,000 subs. Oh, yeah, man, that's you're awesome. Like this close. So go get this girl to 1,000 subs. Uh, but also, before we go, we uh, did a little podcast about... Our trip home where we talked a little bit more in detail about my grandmother and some other cool stuff so go check that out this week also it's as odd as my rubber ducks yeah it's on that level my mom collects specifically crafted ugly snowmen like boom so watch today's video check out our thrifting adventure and then uh, there's a few more videos you can go watch after that now stick around for some waco awesomeness We're back in Texas. We're in Bucky's and they have t-shirts. How's it? What do you think? I don't know if I can do it 3X. If it shrinks in the wash, it's not gonna fit. Yeah, it's over then. I'm into that though. How much are they? I don't know, the tag's on the front, isn't it? Oh. Price tag? Is there a price on it? 15 bucks, that's not bad. 15 bucks? It's a nice quality t-shirt. It's a good shirt. Buy this right now and wait till next year, put it on eBay. 60 bucks. That's a reseller tip. What do you got, sir? They have a fried chicken sandwich. I didn't know they had that. I was looking at it. You think it's good? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. What do you got? Some vinegar chips and a Bucky sandwich. What is this called? True pulled pork. What's the Bucky sandwich? Sliced brisket. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on. It looks big, don't it? Yeah. It yeah. looks like a big 3X. Oh, yeah. It's good, man. It's big, it's tall. That's what I was worried about. Look how tall it is. It's how down you? past my pee pee. You're, you're bending <laughs> under. Straight. The camera should have been on you for that one. <laughs> That's good. That's a tall pee, baby. Are you gonna eat all that? Um, yeah. Dang. <laughs> All I got was a, I went to Bucky's and all I got was a t-shirt. I guess I was really excited about the t-shirt because the lady looked at me and said, I just love to see the Bucky enthusiasts that come in here. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I should have my camera rolling for that. But I got the t-shirt, so our trip to Waco tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna wear the Bucky shirt. The next day. It's the next day and as promised, I got the Bucky shirt on. I got the Bucky shirt on. Actually, you know what? They literally dropped this shirt yesterday at Bucky's and I'm woken up today to go to Bucky's in my Bucky shirt. They're gonna think I'm stealing this shirt, but I bought it yesterday. They don't even have those shirts here. Yeah, well, not in this interest. This is way different. They have just... What? what they icing? have giant icy machines. They don't have that. The other one. Whoa! This, this place is such a tourist type attraction that like, no one, we're walking around filming right now with our cameras, it's just super obvious and no one's saying anything. I, th I think they're quite used to this. Oh, here's the shirts. They do have them. You gotta get the matching pajama pants. I will say they have a, like a tie-dye shirt too that they have year-round. And I'd get one, but as of yet, they don't have them this size. But look, look how tall this t-shirt is. I've only had it on for like an hour today. I'm like, oh my God, this is what an expensive t-shirt feels like. It feels so good. It is nice. I just want to buy five more of them and only wear it. <laughs> you know what this is called? A burritos. It's a hippo taco. Nice. <laughs> well, I, I want a sausage egg and cheese biscuit, but it looks like they're stopped making them. No. Let's go. That makes me want to get two since they're that fresh. 
Are you getting donuts for breakfast? Man, a kolache, bro. What is that? I, right there. It's a, it's a completely suffocated hot dog. Yes. <laughs> Except I got ham and cheese. Oh, did you? I got another Bucky shirt. I couldn't help myself. The other one, the other location didn't have this. And we got a lot of food. It's been a while since we've been to a Goodwill Bins that we haven't been to, but we're in Waco, Texas. So we're gonna go to the Goodwill Outlet here. I'm pretty excited about it. Yay! What's your first thought when going into a brand new Bins? What's it gonna look like on the inside? I'm, I'm usually most curious about how the rotations work, though that's not really a good thing to wonder now that everyone's changed how they rotate because of COVID, but yeah. how do you know them to rotate here? You know what? I've never seen them rotate. You just come in and the stuff's been out? Yeah. They probably only rotate at the beginning of the day before open or something then. Probably. I've never, you know, I've never seen them rotate. Right. Well, let's go get to the bottom of it. There's like a side room back here that's almost like a normal Goodwill, but not really. I don't know if this stuff's individually priced or if they're just setting it aside. It all has, a lot of it has price tags on it. But I honestly think that's just from the stores. I don't know. There's crates of records over here. I was kind of hoping there was some set aside media. I'd love to dig through some games, but then also, this is, this is a nice custom job. These tracks are glued down. That's awesome. There's some giant headphones. Oh, those are like aviator headphones. Yeah. Which kind? So far, I got a little boot. Ooh. I got a uh, Home Alone cane stall. Oh yeah, that's cool. And I think this is Parappa the Rapper, that video game. Yeah. I gotta look that up though. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, I found a PlayStation steering wheel. Oh, nice better than nothing. Look at oh, Osho Zen tarot cards. I think Osho means like master or teacher or something. Uh -huh. Osho. Tell me if you see any more of it. It's only like half the stack. Mo Money, what'd you find? I found a denim purse. Nice. I found a domo. If I could get them out. Oh, it's a big it's domo. Karate. Um, I think this is Gandalf from uh, Lord of the Rings. Totally is. There's shoe, I'm gonna die. And a little tent. Oh, nice. That's pretty. Yeah, it's a good one. What'd you find? It's a Junie and Burke bag. Ooh. I love Junie and Burke. That's nice. It's so dark in here. It's dark <laughs> and green. It is. Yeah, you should get that. We can fix it. Yeah, I think so. I'm hoping so, because this is a really pretty purse. All right, guys, I found I found a stack. Miley Cyrus, Marley and Lee, Kids Pop, Let's Go, Cinderella, Mary Poppins. These are all soundtracks. Hannah Montana, I think that's School Rock. Is that a soundtrack or a DVD? It's a DVD. These are, some of these are bootleg. That's funny. <laughs> Ivan's gonna show us his best find. Oh baby, it's a tank. It's a women's tank. Women's, real women ride Harleys. Let's see the back. Harley Davidson, Waco, Texas. Good find. I wanna show you guys something. Come close. Go. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Nerd. I wish that were my size. I know, that is pretty dope. Don't tell me I'm a nerd, because I like books. <laughs> so they did bring out some new clothes. Can you see me? Hello? Hello? They did bring out some new clothes while we're here. One rotation, but that's all they rotated. And it doesn't look like they're going to do anything else soon. So I don't know. Hopefully before we get out of here, they bring out a new roll of uh, home goods or something. I'd love to see some media. Love to go home with some video games. Have you all found anything? Thank you for your <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Check that out. Hold that up over here. I'm into that. I love it. That's some Wicked Witch of the West stuff. What'd you find? 
There you go, Hannah. I know how you love them Capris. <laughs> Ivan's, Ivan's best find. They are Levi's though. <laughs> All right, Monique, show us your best find. We are ridiculous. Does he stretch around the back? Yeah. Of course he does. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're gonna show you all our best clothing items specifically. We all got other stuff, but everyone picked up some clothing. We're gonna show you our best item and uh, comment below, vote who's your favorite. Ivan, what do you got? Best clothing Your item best clothing item. Would be that Harley shirt that you showed earlier. Let's see it. Want to see it again? Ivan's best is the Harley tank. Comment below if that's your favorite. What's your best, Hannah? This purse. Ooh, accordion purse, very nice. So pretty. Comment below if this is your favorite. Monique, what's your best? Oh, my tank top. Texas honey. Yeah, it's cute. There you go. Under Armour. So comment below if this is your favorite, because it's definitely mine. Hannah doesn't like it. They all think I'm a nerd. They're just jealous they can't read good. <laughs> All right, I'll say one of the best things I got, I think, is probably these headphones, and hopefully, if they work, a few of you will have noticed that I wore these in our already posted podcast. So go back and watch that uh, on our podcast channel, The Tendo Show, link below, or just search that. But I've been wanting a few pair of these for our podcast, just for some extra style points, you know? We're not wearing Beats, we're wearing 1950s stereo, or, original stereo headphones. We're not wearing Beats, we're wearing Beat Up. Beat Up! <laughs> but like, seriously, you put them on? Like, here, put these on real quick. They're like naturally sound canceling on their own. Can you hear anything? Hello? My thoughts. You can hear your thoughts. <laughs> they, this is bad. They, yeah, you don't want to wear those if you need to hear anything. Like, you got kids, don't put them on. You won't hear your kids. Well, you might want to do that, but that's dangerous. I don't know. It may just look like two dirty silos to you, but... There's actually a lot more inside. It's like the third people to yell at us from their car. Apparently they don't like cameras here in Texas. If you guys want to see more of this place, check out Hannah's channel. She's going to do a video on it. But here's the only reason I'm here. The tea. I'm here for the tea. Wait, the day's not over. We have driven back from Waco to Fort Worth, and we're gonna go to one more Goodwill Bins before the day's over. This is the Fort Worth Goodwill Bins, but they do close in an hour, so we gotta hurry. So let's do it. Bye, guys. Bye. I dropped my phone. Oh no. Yeah. The thing's huge. Look at that. So these are pretty cool to find at the bins. If you have any kind of cool stuff you collect that uh, could do with some elevation on your display shelves, these are always nice. Just display three levels of things. I like finding those. So next to me is the most beautiful crochet blanket I've ever seen. And our smart car is so full. Oh no. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a, a pretty like cottony fabric and it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it. So it makes you think it might be vintage. Oh, it's so nice. I hope we can fit it. <laughs> I found the mother load. Those Disney Infinity that I found over there were just kind of by themselves. I think someone else got a bunch of them and then threw them back. I sell so many of these at our antique mall. A couple bucks a piece worth it. One, two, three, four. 
five, six. Ooh, there's a few good ones. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, that was worth the trip over here. Make sure there's not any more hidden in here. These were definitely some nice throwbacks. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. What have you found? A really beautiful crochet blanket that we're probably not going to be able to fit in the car. Ah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, nice. This is not a drill, I repeat. This is not a drill. Do you not see what I see? I don't see it yet. Oh! Oh, let's go. Nice, nice Yugi Mans. Is there more? I swear, if I find a hoard of Yugi Mans, it's over. Ivan, I found a Pokemans. My hands are wet. Ooh, don't touch. Pokemans. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm on a mission now. I found one. Can I find the other one in this mess? I've had very bad luck so far finding mates to shoes, so I don't have much hope, but we're gonna find out. Well, we're back home now. How do you feel? Um, tired but rested. Well, it's <laughs> kind of we're kind of in a funny spot right now because uh, normally we would have done this and made daily videos the whole way and come back. And you guys would have seen every step of it, but actually, uh, what you just watched was almost a week ago now. So we have had a few days. Well, I would say off, but we've rested a few days and we've already been back to our home Goodwill bins since getting back so next week's episode uh you're definitely going to come check that out i might even you know what if you stuck around to the end of this video i'll give you guys a little nugget might actually post it on thursday i'm i think i might be ready for two videos a week we had our time off we're rested we feel like almost normal people yeah it might be time to start that second video we'll see come back maybe see if there's another video on thursday but let's talk about this trip a little bit there's not a lot to get into because honest uh, the real meat of what we did and how we saw family and stuff we talked about at length on our podcast channel so the tendo show go search that out or click on the link below and you can definitely definitely uh hear us talk way more about you know my grandmother and some other cool stuff and uh but but all in all i guess we can talk about the thrifting uh yeah. what we got on this trip that we're excited about i know you came home with a couple interesting pieces well, I was very particular this trip because being in the smart car, we didn't have a lot of room mm -hmm. for stuff. So I made sure to only pick the best of the best whenever we went thrifting. But I also was very mindful of the fact that my mom had a bag of clothing sitting at home for right. me. Right. We already had stuff to go home and get and bring back. <laughs> and the bag of clothing was full of my grandmother's shirts. So you'll notice in the, the video of me at... Um, well, in my video. You'll see a sneak peek in this video. Or you guys saw a sneak peek in this video of Hannah at the silos. Uh, cats out of the bag there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that shirt you wore that whole video on your channel. Is a vintage shirt of my grandmother's. It is and awesome. So you'll see a lot of those shirts coming up. And I'm very excited. Because <laughs> you brought them all home to wear them, I right? did, yeah. My mom's like, I've got a bunch of shirts. I'm sure you can sell them. I was like, no. No. We have a new wardrobe <laughs> coming in. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Um Really, the best stuff I brought home was probably from the St. Louis bins, which wasn't even this episode. Go back and watch the last couple of weeks of episodes to see all of our travel vlogs. Very happy about the stuff I got in St. Louis, too. So it was good for you. You got some grandma's clothes. I got some <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! VHS to add to my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Very excited about that. But that's it, guys, really. I mean, thanks for hanging out with us this whole trip. I, I, feel, I feel so good about this trip because the last four to five times we went home it was everyday vlogs that was you know 
and that was a burden and that was distracting from our family. And honestly, we went home this time, spent some time with our family and enjoyed it and still cranked out. I feel like some really good episodes, uh, but you know, what? we're back home. So regular thrifting, adventuring content to come. Very excited about the next couple weeks worth of videos. We've got them planned out, baby. So make sure you're subscribed. Those notifications are turned on. So when we post a video Thursday and or Sunday, uh, you can be here for both of those. But again, check out Ivan Monique's channel, Hannah's channel, our, vlog, our uh, podcast channel. There's plenty, plenty of content coming from us to replace what we used to do with our daily videos. So many people are just like, oh, I wish you'd post daily again. <laughs> I get that. Uh, I understand. But I'm still almost, we're still almost posting daily. I mean, yeah. It, it's not <laughs> the same. I know it's not what everyone's looking for. But seriously, we had a really good chat on our podcast channel. Your video in Waco is pretty dope. And uh, go check out some of our other content before we come back later this week. Until then, guys, peace out.